What is the best trading strategy for beginners? It's definitely not short selling and definitely not chasing breakouts. In my opinion, a strategy needs to have a set of simple criteria and repeatable patterns. Then and only then, it can be considered a good strategy that's profitable and suitable for traders of all levels. I've made hundreds of videos on strategies that you can learn and apply to your own trading. Today, I want to challenge you to follow the step-by-step -step strategy lesson closely. By the end of this video, you would have picked up the strategy that I personally consider to be my A plus setup, the GAPA reversal long strategy that made me over $7,000 today. In this video, you're going to learn three golden criteria for you to use as your strategy checklist, the psychological and technical factors behind this long strategy, Understand what really makes this pattern repeatable and suitable for beginners for timing entry signals, as well as a live trading example of how I executed the strategy and made over $7,000 in under 30 minutes. I do spend a lot of time to plan and create these kind of educational videos. If you want to see more, make sure to drop a like down below. No, it's not going to make you Lamborghini money, but I genuinely appreciate your support and motivation. To kick off this particular strategy that I used for two trades today that made over $7,000 in total, you should learn the three golden criteria first. So number one, you wanna see a huge overnight gap up. So for example here, the stock gapped up from $79 to over $98 pre-market. This is an over 5% overnight gap up. Number two, you wanna see a very strong positive catalyst. In this case for the stock, they beat on earnings on all three metrics. And number three, you wanna see a very bullish daily chart. So in this particular example here, you can see we're gapping up over the daily resistance at 93, 95, 96, and also $98. And that's what I mean by a very strong bullish daily chart. And we'll go over each of these criteria in detail in just a little bit. Now let's talk about the psychological and technical factors behind this GAPA reversal long strategy. Of course, we talked about earlier, you wanna see a huge overnight gap up and not just any gap up, you wanna see a gap up in this case with very positive earnings catalyst. And once again, like I've explained many times on this channel, the reason you wanna look for these gappers have gapped up so much overnight due to positive catalyst is because you wanna have other investors, traders, institutions be attracted into the stock to create volume and range for you to profit from. That's the whole reason DDOG was able to gap up from 79 to $96 pre-market and even after that continued to break through $100 here pre-market highs and then slowly trend all the way up to 104. That's the kind of range we're talking about. We're not talking about 50 cents move. We're talking about a stock that can move two, three, five, ten 10 points in one day. Now let's take a look at a technical analysis on this particular stock now. The reason you want a huge gap up pre-market and not just any gap up, you want to see the stock already kind of trending up pre-market. So you can see after hours it gapped up pre-market this morning, it despite a little pullback at around eight o'clock, you had a pullback from 98 down to $94, but you later on reclaimed that pre-market VWAP over here, reclaimed on a five minute chart and slowly reclaimed to $98, $99. This provides you the pre-market level to use as intraday support. And you can see that pre-market support area, $95, $96 range, is what I'm gonna be using as key level later on in a live trading recording. And once you have that key level to use from both the daily chart as well as intraday, you can use that level to plan your risk, entry areas, and potential profit targets. So in this case, if I get in around this $96 area, I wanna be aiming for that pre-market resistance around $99.50 or $100 mark, and even higher to the daily chart, you can see over that 100, you have upside to 101 here, as well as on this little wicks here on the daily. 
102s and potentially even higher to 104. Now, before I dive into the live trading example to go over this trade step by step with you, let's talk about what makes this particular strategy or pattern so repeatable and suitable for beginner traders to get started. So the first reason I think this is a very great strategy for new traders to get started is because it's easy to find these stocks. Like I said earlier, with all the criteria we just mentioned, these gap ups, especially on large cap and mid cap stocks, they happen very often among these stocks like Apple, Tesla, you know, DDOG, or even cheaper stocks like Block or Coinbase. And you can do that with either paid or free scanners as well. Now, the next reason I think this is a very beginner friendly strategy is that the technical support and resistance levels on the daily charts, especially like I showed you earlier, are very likely to form and very easy to plan out. Like I said earlier, if you just use a daily chart, on this example here, you can see all the potential support, resistance, and you can use your intraday chart to kind of reaffirm your thesis. It's quite simple. I shouldn't use the word easy. It's simple to plan your entries, risk award, and upside price target. Next, let's talk about planning for these entries. You're not buying a breakout on this particular strategy. You're buying the breakthrough of the key level consolidation and you're watching it pull back and slowly grind up higher. That's the reason you're gonna see in my live trading recording, I use the five minute chart as well as the two minute chart. You'll see in a live trading example that I'm not getting in at the high of the day breakout. I'm buying on these little pullbacks and 97 V what reclaim. And uh, once it starts consolidating overnight, that $99 area and then selling into the breakout. And this is how you can also plan to have a decent risk reward. When you're buying the breakout, a lot of times once the stock breaks out, let's say at right here at 101s, you're immediately running into resistance a dollar or two dollars later. You don't have time to let this thing reclaim VWAP, reclaim pre-market highs and slowly trend up. Okay, enough talking. Now let's dive into this live trading example of how I executed this particular strategy on two different trades and made over $7,000 in 30 minutes. We're going to talk about commentary on the two stocks and my executions. You're going to see my entry, stop loss, as well as profit target and how I read price action to stay in a winner and let it work. So you can see over here, market had just opened. It's 9.30 a.m. market time. You can see DDOG two minute chart at the bottom here. You can see I, I got in one, once the stock test that VWAP area, you know, the pre-market VWAP we talked about earlier at around 97.80s. I started in with a thousand shares. Now my plan is to slowly add into it. Um, my starter size on this will actually be 500 shares, but uh, I think today I'm feeling quite good about the stock. Fast forward, you know, a couple minutes later, or well, only about two minutes later, you can see we're still teetering around the 97, 40s area. I'm down about 40 cents, but I'm not panicking. I'm looking at the stock, looking at if we're gonna hold that pre-market VWAP, or are we actually going to test that key level I planned out at $96? You can, you can see I have an order sitting there, seeing if I'm going to get filled. Fast forward a little bit, you can see we're still trading around that $97 area. With a small pull back here and there by one point. But once again, this DDOG moves in big ranges. You cannot be risking just a dollar. And it only went down to 96, you know, forties for a split second. Let's see, does it break down or does it slowly consolidate and reclaim? You can see on the top, I like to switch back and forth between the two minute and the five minute chart on the top over here. You can see I'm looking at a two minute chart. I'm looking at, okay, are we really selling off or are we just slowly holding that, you know, pre-market support area around $96. You can see I'm trying to see if I can like just add a little bit down here at $96. On the five minute chart, you can, and as well as the two minute charts, you can see little wicks at the bottom of the candle getting bought back up. To me, that's a bullish sign, especially for a stock that has such a strong catalyst of earnings beat. 
we are testing that VWAP area on the two minute chart. So my starter size is usually 500 shares. You're going to see me trim it down from 1000 down to 500 just to be safe. After all, we're still within 10 minutes of the market open. I trim 500 shares just to you know, reduce my risk a little bit during this uncertain period. So I'm down to 500, sh 500 shares at 9780s average. I realized a loss of $380. You can see on the bottom screen here on the five minutes, we're immediately jumping over VWAP. I added back in a thousand shares that gave me an average of 9790. And we are already skipping up. That's the thing with this uh, DDOG. It's a stock I've traded in the past. When it breaks out, it kind of skips in dollars. When it sells off, it sells off slowly in like 20 cents. So I'm glad I got in. You can see on the top, on the two minute chart, we are already skipping through to $99. That's how fast these things go. Again, bullish daily charts down here. That's really great to see. You can see on the daily charts, you are breaking out. Well, through that $96 pre-market, you really don't have any like strong resistance until 101, 102 is on the daily. So that's the, the beauty of having a daily chart on the side, um, as well as your intraday chart. So you can see the bigger picture. As you probably know from my videos, my trading strategies that involve scalping, momentum, and shorting, they require a very fast broker platform. I have some exciting news from the broker I personally use. Centerpoint Securities is now finally open in Canada once again. You can now open an account with a lowered minimum of $20,000 and get one month free of Dash Trader Pro. That's the broker platform you see in all my YouTube videos. If you want extremely fast order executions, extensive short locates and routing options, then you should definitely check out Centerpoint with a link down below. And we are already testing that $100 mark. Uh, I added some more over here, as you can see, add up here, uh, 500 shares. Now I have 2000 shares at $98 and uh, 38 cents average. I sold a little bit, should have held it, but uh, I, I did sell 300 shares at around $100 because I think I was looking at that pre-market resistance right here. You can see um, on the yellow line, that pre-market resistance trying to be safe, but sometimes uh, you don't want to be too conservative. I sold a little bit more, what a shame, into that 180s. No worries, I still have a remainder of 1,400 shares. Yeah, we're pulling back to that $99 area, but the action still holds up quite well. You can see this DDOG, despite that $100 rejection, you're not getting like a, like if you pause here on the top, two minute chart, you're still, yes, you are below that $100 area, the resistance, but uh, you're holding up the $99 quite, quite all right. Um, so you're holding up, you're not seeing like an instant rejection down to VWAP. So to me, you know, it's a good sign. The stock needs time to slowly consolidate to go up higher. This is around the time I noticed snow. Looking at that 157s, um, that's the daily resistance, as well as I also do, did a quick due diligence on the catalyst and the daily chart. So identify that as the same setup as DDOG. You can see on the bottom left hand corner, snow daily chart. Once you clear through that 157s, you have a, a lot of upside to 160, 161. So I added some more, you can see I added back to 2000 shares at DDOG. At that $99 mark, now I have an average of $98.78. Because uh, I see it consolidate, I see it testing the pre-market highs once again. What a monster. I'm up a little bit over unrealized five, four thousand dollars with 2,000 shares. And uh, at the time, market's also trending up quite nicely. Hope you guys are following along on this strategy and using our strategy checklist on screen here. If you're enjoying the video so far, please remember to drop a like down below. I really appreciate it. Also a reminder that you can get a free weekly watch list of all the stocks I'm watching for the next week. You can do that by signing up with the email down below. Fast forward, I sold into the 101s, I believe. Yeah, I sold into the 101s. 
So I realized a total of $1,400. Oh, a little bit more now. Realizing $3,100. Now I have a remainder of 730 shares on a DDOG with the same average as before. I think I just started managing way too many positions. As you can see, I have like Nvidia at the bottom and I was also looking at snow. But uh. So fast forward now, you can see on the top window, I'm entering snow, the exact same strategy as DDOG. Entering only 500 shares, same strategy. Also a nice gap of reversal long on the daily chart. Very strong market overall today. So you can see on the top here, after that 157 is broken out of, you're upside to 161. So that's where I'm in with 500 shares, averaging about 158.20. So I'm essentially risking a dollar per share on snow. And on DDOG, my average is so well now, now I wouldn't let us go into negative. You can see I'm just trying to let it work. I'm being patient on the five minute chart on DDOG. Trying to see like, okay, are you going to consolidate and go higher? DDOG testing higher day, $180. We're pulling back a little bit on both snow and DDOG. I know a lot is happening at the same time. It's been a while since I've had like four, actually three positions open at the same time. Um, so it was a, it was a very exciting day. Um, uh, quick recap, DDOG, I still have 700 shares. Um, and the snow, I still have the 500 shares. I haven't sold any, but uh, I think my target on this is 161. And both of this, the snow and DDOG, they are the exact same strategy. I wish I had allocated the same amount of position for snow, but uh, it's like I said, it's hard for me to manage a lot of positions at once. So I usually choose to focus on one uh, ticker, which is DDOG and then kind of like switch back and forth and look at um, Snow, Nvidia, and like, you know, all the other tickers at the bottom. So you can see I sold 200 shares on Snow at 160. So locking about two, $2 per share almost. You can see I realized about $340 and I still have unrealized 520. Nice breakout on Snow. This one I never got a chance to add um, other than my starter of uh, 500 shares. DDOG is now testing 102s at the bottom window. You can see I'm looking to sell everything into that 102s breakout. Snow is also breaking out as well. Testing that 161s that we talked about. Nice, locking in $4,000 on DDOG. Now I only have 300 shares left. Snow is now on the top here. One, um, you can see I'm trying to sell 162s. I don't know if I end up getting that, but uh, it's getting there. 161.70s is the ask, as you see here. I mean, these are very, very strong candlestick trends. We're talking about on the five minute chart, these are three, four, five green, very bullish candles. That's how you reprice action. You just sit here and you let it work. The candles are doing just fine. It's not choppy, it's not pulling back. It's just straight up slow and steady. Okay, DDOG now testing 103s. I believe I'm gonna get out all of it right here. Yeah, so I just sold the remainder 300 shares at 103 on DDOG, locking in $5,800 on this particular stock. Let's take a look at what I'm about to do with Snow because that's the exact same strategy. Now, I, I believe I'm gonna try to lock in Snow at 161.20s with a remainder of 300 shares. Sold at 161.20, so locking in $1,200 on snow. So together on these two tickers, both are the GAPA reversal long strategy. That is a total of $7,000 profit on the day. Once again, on this particular strategy, you're looking for um, an overnight gap up like you see on DDOG. You can see it's the same thing on snow, same overnight gap up from 144 over to 156. Very positive catalyst on both of these tickers and you have a very bullish daily chart and you're gapping up over the recent daily resistance. You can see snow, a huge gap up over that you know, 150, 
156s, 158s. And that gives you decent upside all the way to these daily resistance areas around 161, 162. I hope you learned a lot from today's strategy lesson and apply this to your own trading starting tomorrow. Obviously, there's only so much you can learn in one short YouTube video. So if you're interested in learning more in-depth strategies, then there's actually a free crash course for you to sign up down below. Once again, it's free to sign up. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.